Hey, what is up, lawn care community? Welcome back to the channel. Thank you for stopping by. In today's episode, I'm going to be talking about my Gravely 36 Pro Stance. Um, this is the Gen 2 that Gravely has made. They just recently came out with the Gen 3. That machine looks amazing. Um, I was considering trying out the 32 inch um, Gen 3. Uh, since this machine was so good, this 36 inch unit from Gravely is definitely a good investment for your business. Um, I think we got fleet pricing on it around 6,200 bucks, relatively the same price as Skag. I really do like Gravely. Um, their branding is great. Uh, Gravely's customer service overall is nice. It's like the little things, like when you buy uh, a mower and they give you a little t-shirt and a hat or something like that. Oh wait, speaking of Gravely hat. All right, that's better. This machine is great. I'm gonna do a walk around of it. I used it for an entire uh, year, last year. I threw a bagger on it. It's a uh, like one of those big metal baggers. I think it's a Ketchum brand, or Ketchum, <laughs> a Rackham. Anyways, guys, let's just take a little look at this. 375, and you can't see it. Uh, you can hard, yeah, you, I don't think you'll be able to see it. There's literally a point one. <laughs> There's a point one, 375.1. So it's been a great machine. Uh, like I said, that's, that's a lot of hours for this. Um, in just one season but man I tell you what the 36 really is a great a great investment because this can be the number one machine if you focus on smaller residentials um, but in my other video where I do a little review of that uh, new skag there uh, it's funny you can see the tire size difference but um, that's a 48 this is a 36 but that's in a different video um, so anyways, I think what I what I got to do today, I'm just going to kind of clean it up and such. And uh, I got to fill a little bit. Uh, I got to fill just basically to the bottom eighth of that with some hydraulic, some hydraulic fluid. Pick that up, Gravely brand. I actually bought that on Amazon. Um, so... Here's the Pro Stance 36. Like I said, guys, with that many hours on it, you know, we put it to work. Um, there's a little caution symbol. This is hot, so there's your, excuse me, I didn't even realize this, but see the exhaust is in the front? The exhaust is in the front right there, too. So that's why they said uh, this gets hot, but anyways, this flips up. There's some of the belt. Here's how the belt is set up. So pretty self-explanatory with that one. I've That's the first time I've lifted that since I got this machine. This is just the bracket for the metal bagger. Um, you guys probably know what I'm talking about. It, it's like, it, it looks like the accelerator bagger, but it's way heavier and I think it's like steel or something. Not the brand, the material. <laughs> But, um, yeah, I don't know. I found, like, the belt covers they had. They had, like, a couple of extra things. And, like, when I'm working and grass piles on there, I just blow it out anyway. So, um, yeah, it's a, this is a great machine. I mean, if you guys checked out any of my uh, mowing vlogs, then this past season was, like, all this machine. So take a look at those. A couple of my best cuts, definitely. So from the back of the machine, the difference between Skag and Gravely is the, uh, the, the standing platform. This is obviously permanent and fixed. And this is, um, I guess, retractable if you want. So it's just got a little lever, and then you take it off the trailer. Here, let me try to get a shot of that, though. There's just, it's, it's essentially this lever right here, and it just... You just slide it up and then just drop that boy down. And then the most, I think to me, the most unique feature, the reason why I even bought this Gravely to begin with and not Skag, 
is simply for the, for the floating deck feature alone. With that pedal, um, it's so interesting that they were able to accomplish that. I'm not sure if it'll hold up, you know, over time. Maybe that foot pedal will get loose. I'm not sure if the deck might malfunction later, but that's definitely uh, a genius idea. So as we stand on the machine, guys, the um, another kind of patented thing by Gravely is this um, this like height the deck height adjustment with the spinning wheel. Um, that's pretty interesting. So you have to have your deck locked, which is in the um, all the way up position, which you can also uh, retract it with this handle, pull it up. Um, you gotta have the deck in the locked position. That's one thing, it's a little more, I know this is kind of turning into a Gravely um, and Skag comparison, but, um, you know on this machine you pull it up and like this button like pops out like it's locked so you totally feel it um, on this you have to you have to physically lock it um, so let me try to just demonstrate the the locking okay guys so without you know a cameraman since I'm not in since I'm not an actor and I have to uh, you know take all these shots myself what I'm actually doing right now is I'm stepping on the floating pad or the floating foot pedal and then I unlock the deck and then you guys are going to take a ride. And now the deck is down and if you can still see it hopefully this uh, little lever is all the way up and then I'll bring you guys back up by stepping on the pedal. Maybe I need some grease and then push that down and it's locked. So now you're back where you started. These are just the standard high lift blades. I hope this video was a little helpful for you if you're considering um, buying a Gravely machine. Hopefully I have a good start to spring. A lot of people have had great starts to their spring. Be safe, peace.